Hi everyone, this is NZ Tech Freak here for Android NZ once again, and this time bringing you another Samsung Galaxy Note flavoured video. And this time, what I wanted to show everyone was basically how to work the Note. Now, this video is intended to be a completely comprehensive guide. We are also doing a written post with step by step step instructions at the blog uh, to supplement this and also to provide links to all of the files that you'll need to download in order to root your Galaxy. Galaxy Note. Now, one word of caution, I'm going to be rooting here with Odin, and at the moment there's currently no way to reset the flash counter for a Galaxy Note that's flashed with Odin. Now, what that means is, if you root your, Gal your Galaxy Note sorry, with this method, you will not be able to return it um, to a factory state if you needed to return it for warranty purposes at all. So this one's not for the faint of heart. If you keep an eye on this space, I'm sure that a development will come along that kind of addresses this for everyone. But for, for right now, if you're going to follow my method here, you will fairly comprehensively void your warranty, which I think really any time you root a handset, you need to sort of go into it with that understanding that you know, that's potentially it as far as your warranty is concerned. And that's a bit um, daunting at times for the day one device. So basically, what you need to do is to get a program called Odin, there'll be a link at the blog for that, and install that onto your computer, and you'll also need to take a couple of steps in order to make sure that your Galaxy Note can talk to Odin, and to do that you need to, first of all, uh, install Samsung Kai's software to your computer, the most up-to-date version which you can find on the web, and then also connect your Galaxy Note to the computer both with US the USB debugging on and then with USB debugging off. Um, for whatever reason it installs slightly different drivers depending on which which mode you have it connected in. Once you've done that, then hopefully your Galaxy Note should be recognized by Odin. So what I'm going to do now is fire up Odin. And so that's what Odin looks like. Um, important to note, you mustn't do anything like tick the option repartition. You may irreparably damage your note if you do that, so no need to touch anything that you see on screen there. Next step obviously is to boot your Galaxy Note into download mode, and to do that you need to press and hold the volume down button as I'm doing here, press and hold the home button, and then press and hold the power button until you see the device to splash screen at which point you should be able to let go, there we go, and it's telling me I need to hit volume up to continue, it's giving me a warning about what happens if I install a custom OS, obviously I'm going to ignore that, so volume up, I'm now in download mode, so now we're going to connect the note to the computer just via the micro USB cable, and with any luck we should see, yes, um, that Odin is recognising the note. What you need to do next is to click on this field here that says PDA and navigate to a file called uh, NetChips Public Mod Recovery Update and you'll be linked to that at the blog of course and select Open and you should see that appear here besides PDA. Now you shouldn't select anything else, what you should do now is hit Start to flash this custom recovery to your Galaxy Note, and as you can see, it's busily doing that at the moment, and it's telling me that it's been successful. So I can disconnect the Note now from the computer, and you can see now I've got the yellow triangle here indicating I've put a non-stock kernel on the device, and it's going to boot up, and I'm not particularly interested in that. What we now need to do is to boot into recovery, and it's a similar process to, um, to booting into download mode. In this case, I'll just wait for it to finish firing up. You need to press and hold volume up, press and hold the home button, and then press and hold the power button once again. So the only thing different here is it's volume up to go into recovery versus volume down to go into download mode. And now hopefully by doing this, I should shortly be greeted by Clockwork Mod Recovery. And there we go, so success with part one, what we now need to do is to navigate to install zip from SD card. And what I've earlier done is copied the super user application 
to the phones internally, Steve. Now, unfortunately, what happened here, despite the best laid plans, is I couldn't actually find where I'd saved the zip file to. Um, but suffice to say, it's very straightforward. What you need to do is navigate to it and install it. Once you've done that, when you go back into your note, you'll have root and everything will be good. Um, I should perhaps just say though that before you flash the super usual uh, zip, you should actually make an Android backup in recovery just to protect against any mishap, no matter how unlikely that might actually be. Um, once you've rooted, of course, you should back up your EFS folder. And again, for that, and for making an Android, an Android backup, uh, you can find guides at the blog. And of course, I was eventually able to find and flash the super user file, which was the last part of the guide, after which time you have root. Um, and then, obviously, I wanted to show you some of the things you could do with the root, and just to prove that, this Galaxy Note right here is rooted, and what you can see in front of you is Shadowgun, of course, which is a Tegra only game, and via Channel Fire 3D, it is running quite nicely uh, on the Galaxy Note, of course. And of course, with the Galaxy Note screen, this is, of course, actually running um, at the full resolution and being output via MHR to an external monitor. Smoke these files. And I am, of course, controlling this with a PS3 remote. And of course, the 6 axis controller does require does require root in order to work. And as you can see running really nicely. Uh, still has the same Bluetooth control issues that um, this does if you're controlling it via Bluetooth with a PS2 remote on any other device. Um, as you can see, running nicely and proof positive that this Galaxy Note just disconnected. Right here is rooted. And you can see that I am indeed running Netchip's root kernel. So that's a very quick video guide. Apologies for the gaff right at the end. I couldn't find the super user APK to flash and clock recovery. That is the last step of installation anyway. Um, and you can find a full guide with downloads for all of the files that you require over at Android NZ shortly. And of course we're going to be having heaps more stuff with the note in the coming days and weeks as we get down to what's, what you'll soon come to know as our ridiculously detailed real user reviews. So for Android NZ, it's here to take and good night.